WWE Magazine out this month, and you'll find some interesting articles in there about all the superstars here in WWE. Who do you get to read the magazine to you, Cole? Not today. Too fast. Oh, my gosh. To take a chance like that. Do you look at to catch him off guard. Quick round count. Two. Mark on your face. It don't take long for the aggression to escalate quickly in this one. You're right, Cole. These two don't like each other, and we're going to find out how much they really do dislike each other in this match. Look at this. Tyson's running around like a well-oiled machine. All Tyson Kidd does is put on impressive displays in the ring. He's so good, it's almost not fair to the other WWE superstars. A graduate of the famous Heart Dungeon in Calgary, Canada, Tyson Kidd has been one of the most exciting competitors to enter the squared circle. Tyson's been one half of the United States Tag Team Champions and the WWE Tag Team Champions. He also had a major WrestleMania moment at WrestleMania 26 when he gave a heart attack to Mr. Man off the top rope. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. I certainly didn't expect to see this kind of damage. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. You're right about that. Momentum is so important in a match like this. Tyson is tough for sure. He suffered a terrible hyperextended knee injury and had to undergo surgery. Tyson spent much of 2013 physically rehabbing his repaired knee, but now he's back looking to tear up the WWE Championship ranks. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. Another shot for good measure. This is when you know you'll pull out anything you need in order to put away your opponent for good. We know what's coming here. The F5. This one's over. You're right, Cole. Nobody gets up from an F5. Well, we're on the move here. Uh-oh. Look at that. There it is. Hart got it. Wow. Hart does it again. But will it be enough? Uh-oh. Climbing the turnbuckle. Watch it. Oh, what's he going to do to follow that up? He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Oh, direct. Ouch. He's going to be bruised from head to toe before this one's over. Thinking to avoid that. Going for the double play with this move. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. We're looking at complete domination here. Well, I don't know if you would categorize this as innovative offense, but it sure gets the job done. Just look at what's going on here. It is human. The F5. This one's over. You're right, Cole. Nobody gets up from an F5. Things really are bigger in Texas, and I can tell you that this Dallas crowd is no exception. Extra slow getting back to his base here. Not this. He's looking. There it is. Hart got it. Wow. Hart 
does it again. But will it be enough? People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. You have to think that's it. And again off the head. Just look at this. I don't think there's any lengths that these superstars won't go to to achieve victory here tonight. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. His midsection taking a lot of damage here. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is... I guess he's done with that move. Yeah, but what's he going to do next? Tyson Kidd has found an answer here. I'm not sure I can watch this. We're looking at complete domination. What a move! What a smart move! What a match! Tyson Kidd is really showing me something tonight. If you're just tuning in, you're watching what is guaranteed to be a hell in a cell match. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick! I'm just glad I didn't feel it. What a shot. I don't know if I've ever seen a weapon used that sounded like it imploded on impact. This is a dogfight, a ferocious dogfight, and there's nothing like it. And now Tyson Kidd pushing forward. Dropped, and that was a hard, hard shot. This match has been 100 mile per hour since the opening bell. <laughs> and I don't see any slowing down in the future. This is a great matchup. I'm loving it. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. Ouch. That's got to hurt. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. This might be it. Looks like another check in the win column. I love watching these replays. We're coming here from Dallas, Texas, and we're just a few short miles from Reunion Boulevard, where one of the most historic buildings in wrestling history once stood. There's the suplex. That was nice. Well, we're on the move here. If you're just tuning in, you're watching what is guaranteed to be a hell in a cell match for the ages. Yeah, and that's saying something given the Hell in a Cell matches we've seen over the years. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Here we go. There it is. Hart got it. Wow. Hart does it again. But will it be enough? Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Tyson Kidd using his speed right there. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Yeah. 
incredible counter. Oh, out of nowhere. Oh, wow. Well, we're on the move here. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. Absolutely brutal DDT right there, WWE fans, giving the fans what they came for. Everybody came to see a good DDT delivered here tonight. Oh, my. Tyson Kidd is just a mess right now. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. The arm is taking some real damage. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all it can be used to cause massive damage really pushing his opponent to the limit here he may be in the best physical condition i've ever seen him in uh oh oh wow well the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival the match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects Not the first time we've seen this move tonight. I'm not sure I can watch this. Taking a bit of a beating so far, but nothing that can't be overcome. What a move! What a smart move! Oh, wait, nice reversal. Well, if it were me, I'd keep going after the arm. Don't stop until it doesn't work anymore. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Take a look at this one more time. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, out of nowhere. Tyson's in trouble. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Just a dominating display. Yeah, I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. I'm not sure I can... Oh, careful! Oh, no. Kingy went right through that opening in the cell. And he had to have plummeted over 20 feet to the canvas below. This is horrible. And into the cover. One, two, two three. What a tremendous victory. Oh, there were some unbelievable highlights. Watch this. Oh, that was a match for the record books. The WWE Universe will be buzzing about this one for a while. Oh, those WWE competitors tore this arena apart. Let's go to the highlights here. Here's your winner, the original gangsta, William Hurt. Picking up a major win right there. Great effort from both these guys, Cole. I'm willing to bet this is the last time we see them square off. And if you guys at home are anything like me, that match has you already thinking about next year's Hell in a Cell.